Good afternoon, friends and neighbors. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I welcome you with open arms. This is JT, and uh, my channel is called Moto Knives and Guns by JT. And I'm JT. Thank you again for visiting. I appreciate it. If you're a return subscriber, welcome again. I have an, so a lot of updates for you today, so bear with me. I have a lot to cover and some new stuff. I actually am going to be reviewing some gun-related items today. So please do stay tuned, bear with me because there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna cram in here. First thing I want to start out with is what you're viewing right now. And pardon me if I get a little emotional here, but um, you know, I've never, I've never received a knife and gotten a little emotional except for this time. Um, you know, I can, I can make a statement and say that it's awesome and phenomenal to get a, to get a knife that was created with love. And basically you're gonna pay for that because I'm gonna give that as an example, this Osborne uh, Benchmade, which is made in the USA with superior metals, superior steels, awesome uh, materials. And, you know, someone put their hands on this and the, the form of automation is evident, but still as far as hands-on with the knife, Basically, the rule of thumb is the more hands-on with the knife you're going to have, uh, the more money that's going to cost. And, you know, I love to get knives that are, that are, that have some type of, of emotional value in them as far as someone actually putting their hands on it, making it, spending time with it. And you get that with Benchmade, but I want to talk about this knife right here. This is made by... Um, Kayla Cummings, and she has her own website, and um, you're more than welcome to visit that. And I originally saw this, her website, when I was trying to look up how to make uh, a sheath for my, uh, a Kydex sheath for my, for my handgun. But I came across this, this website of this very pretty woman making a sheath, and I said, wow, that's interesting. And I kept clicking on her other um, videos and I saw that she actually made make knives too and I'm like wow that's really interesting but anyway long story short I went to her website I made an order this is called a k-pop and basically I I was able to <laughs> I don't want to say track her down it's like a stalker but I, I visited her uh, Instagram and she actually wrote me back that was really really nice of her and I asked her how, what the process is of making this knife. And basically she says that she starts by forging the steel into the shape of the knife, of the knife and then she normalizes it, whatever that means. Um, she heat treats it and then grinds it, um, grinds these little indentations here. She also makes, uh, I think that's a bottle opener. And this is also a multi-tool right here. So, you know, there's a lot of love goes into this thing. And I saw a video of her making this. Look, you can actually still, still see pieces of, of grind on the blade. And it, if you smell it, it's, it actually smells like a workshop, which is really, really cool. And it's awesome to own something that someone actually put a lot of love into and actually, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. And she's the one that packaged this. She mailed it to me. She mailed... She made the sheath, she made the lanyard. Um, I mean, there was only one person involved with the creation of this knife. And to me, that was, that's awesome. And I paid about a hundred bucks for this knife, which I think is well worth it. And I also made a friend in the process. You know, she, she emails me back, she, she texts me back, I mean, she uh, responds to my um, Instagrams uh, messages. And I think that's, that's really, really cool. Um, go visit her website. And I asked her if she didn't mind sharing this, but she's also going through some health issues right now. And um, she has a, a GoFundMe account. I'm going to do my best to attach that GoFundMe web link onto my description. But, um, you know, hey, I'm, I'm broke with four kids and I, uh, I made a donation too. But this, talking about the knife a little bit, about 5.5 inches total. The blade length is two, point, uh, two and a quarter inches. And it is just an adorable little knife. Let me tell you, I have not carried this yet. This is gonna be a great neck knife for me, which I'm gonna carry as a neck knife. Um, and I'm gonna take this with me maybe on hikes and 
things of that nature. But this is a cool little knife to have, maybe as an extra in the glove compartment or something like that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna carry this. Um, this is not gonna be uh, one of my pocket, uh, one of my put away knives. I'm actually gonna carry this thing. It's got great little jimping here. Y you can actually you can actually use this knife for just more than more than just uh, self defense because that's that's primarily when I saw this. That's what I said. This is this is, looks like a really nice self defense neck knife. Um, but uh, everything that she added to it makes it really versatile. But anyway, I have a lot of other stuff to cover. Kayla, thank you very much for saying this to me. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm glad I made a friend. She also sent me a sticker um, and a business card. And there is, look, that a picture of her making the knife. Isn't that cool? Her website is... Uh, da, 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 da. Well, actually, the what the email address is Cummingskayla at gmail.com. And her YouTube channel is Kayla Cummings. Awesome person. She's really, really cool. And um, Kayla, I thank you very much for responding to my emails. All right, next up here. My next purchase that I made, which I want to talk about, is this right here. I bought this on uh, Blade HQ. And, um, you know, I've I've gotten into the out the front knives and I saw this knife here and I said that is really really pretty and just um attractive you know the knives are functional but this thing looked really just attractive I, I don't know how else to say it the carbon fiber inlay this is what they call the recon 35 and I'm guessing it's because it's 3.5 inches in length a stone watch blade the steel is LMAX, which is a phenomenal steel. But there's one thing that I did differently with this knife that I have with my other knives. And a pretty knife like this, I don't tend to use it a lot. I'll carry it, but you just open up mail and stuff like that. But I've been doing some work around the house and I said, you know what? This is one of the most attractive knives that I have in my collection and I'm actually gonna use it. And I've been remodeling, um, well, not remodeling, but I've been fixing the windows around the house and they've been rotted out and I'm, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of, uh, fixing as far as, you know, cutting out a little bit of dead wood and things of that nature. And I actually put this blade to use. As you can tell, I've, I've, I've done some little bit of damage there. I've not tried to sharpen this. This blade came stone washed. But um, what I did was I just said, you know what? I'm actually going to use it like a carpenter. And you can tell I, I, I used it. I used this knife continuously for about uh, two weeks. And the only thing I can say about it, it's, it's, it's working great. I did have some failure to fire a couple times. But just, just because I had, I think I had a little bit of caulk on there and it came out. But it is deploying a little slower. If you notice that. If you, if you just activate the trigger and try to stage it, it doesn't fire as fast as it comes back. So um, I am gonna send this back for them to sharpen it. I believe their policy is that um, if you, here it is, here's their warranty. It's warrantied for life, but uh, if you need any work done to it, just cover the shipping and handling for 10 bucks and they will sharpen it and uh, fix it. So I have not, I'm not gonna take this thing apart. I'm not gonna sharpen it. I am basically gonna mail it in and say, hey, I use this like it's like a tool. And guess what? Can you just touch it up for me? I think it's great. Um, Blade HQ is where I purchased it. And um, yeah, I think, um, I think it's a great knife. It's another alternative to the Microtex and things of that nature, Guardian Tactical, and I'm happy with it. And I am going to update you guys as far as how the warranty worked out there. My next one, <laughs> this is just funny. Uh, I just got to laugh with this, but I saw this on a uh, Blade HQ uh, Wednesday Wow, and I just said to myself, you know what, I, I, I got to have this thing. This is just an abomination of a knife. Holy mother of God. I love big knives and I cannot lie. If you, go, if you got that, you know, text me in the comments. Um, <laughs> this is insane. This is the uh, Sheepdog XL, made by, made by Kaiser. Um, this design was made by Chris Conway of Kaiser. And uh, basically what you have here is a 154 cm steel ball bearing ceramic pivot, G10 scales, total length, 
is 9.25 inches. The blade is gonna be four inches. And um, it's a flat grind, but let me tell you, this thing is heavy. You got 9.15 ounces in your pocket. You're gonna feel this thing. And you know what? I'm not afraid to carry a big knife because I actually like to feel that I have a knife in my pocket. That's why I really don't tend to carry uh, like the uh, bug outs and things of that nature just because uh, I'm afraid that I'm gonna forget that I have a knife in my pocket and do the laundry and and it's uh, I'm gonna lose it. But look at the look at the liner lock on that thing. That thing is insane. There is some hardware going on here, but look at this little detail here. This is great. I, I love the attention to detail that they've done with this knife. And for a hundred bucks, you get G10. And you don't, I'm just, I'm doing this uh, out of habit, but you really don't have to use a lot of, of wrist to get this deployed. But anyway, I'm really happy with this. I'm going to carry this. Um, you know, the only downfall, obviously, is this is made in China. But, um, you know, if this were a knife made by Benchmade, you'd probably pay about 250 bucks for this knife. But awesome job. This is my first Kaiser knife. I love it. Um, I got this one from Knife Center just because they didn't charge me tax like Bleedy who does, sorry. And they didn't charge shipping. Um, it came really fast, they had it in stock. Blade HQ did not have it in stock. But I am very, very happy with this. All right, moving forward. Now, um, I'm, I have to do at least one unboxing. What you see here is not the Osborne 9400. What you have here is just the regular Osborne manual. Um, this is a phenomenal knife. I love it. I have not carried this thing yet just because it is just absolutely beautiful with these violet or purple in, um, spacers that they have here. Um, so I have not carried this yet, but I just could not resist ordering the Osborne 9400, which is the auto version of this. And this is also the black blade version. This is my first time opening this up. So let's see what's in here. We know what's in here, but let's see what it looks like. All right. And of course, you always get your, your, your pouch here with Benchmade and your instructions and yada, yada, yada. But here we go. What do we have that's different? Let's see. Well, at a glance, it looks all, almost the same. Um, the only thing that you have here is your lock, which is cool. Um, your liners are a little different here. There's there's no liner on this uh, back, back area. I'm guessing it's because it'll interfere with the lock, but you have your purple spacers. Pretty much looks almost identical at a glance, but of course you have your deployment button here instead of your, um, oh my goodness, I forgot what they call that. Oh, are you kidding me? How can I know? You're, um, oh my God, I am just old age sucks. Well, let's deploy this thing. Yep, let's unlock it. How about that? Yeah, that comes out nice. This is really nice. S S30V steel and um, I think it's DLT coating, which is really, really cool. I just have to have this thing um, just for the heck of it. The pocket clip is a little different also. It's got that doesn't say Benchmade on there, but it's got this little uh, slit in the middle there, and it is a little different. You guys tell me what you think. It's also a matte black versus this is more like a uh, like a gloss, but I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let me know if, if you guys pick this thing up. I also got this from Blade HQ, and damn you guys for having Layaway because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to spend all this money, but you know what? I put on Layaway. And I picked it up. All right, cool. Let's move on. Now, let's finally do something that involves guns because that's the name of my channel, right? Moto knives and guns. So I know if you're on Facebook like I am, um, I haven't made a Moto knives and guns Facebook account yet, but I will in the future. There's a lot of advertisements that come up that you don't know if they're legit or not. And this happened to be one of these advertisements that I saw for this holster. Uh, the company is called VersaCarry. And, you know, I ordered one thing uh, one time through Facebook and I got ripped off. And it was like some kind of lightsaber thing I bought for my kids. It looked like a real lightsaber. 
and I spent 68 bucks. And you know what I got in the mail? I got something that looked like it came from the dollar store and I was so pissed off. You know, I got my money back through PayPal because I use PayPal. But anyway, ever since then, I never purchased anything from Facebook ever again. However, on the 4th of July, I saw an advertisement for this VersaCarry through Facebook and it looked too good to be true. And you know how things, uh, caveat emptor, let the buyer beware when it comes to things that look too good to be true, they probably are. And this was advertised for 1995. So the first thing you want to do if you see something on Facebook that you want to purchase, first of all, get off Facebook and go directly to the websites. Type in the website in Google search. And another thing that I do also is I look them up on the Better Business Bureau. I check to see if they're actually a registered business. And then I want to make sure that they have a physical address in the United States and a phone number. And it checked all the boxes and I did not use the link from Facebook. I got off of Facebook. I actually logged off Facebook. And then I went to the VersaCarry website and yes, they were having that deal. It was 1995, I think with like $4 shipping or something like that. It was a, it was a 4th of July special. And I am very, very pleased with this. This is a really nice cowhide leather, leather and, um, the only difference that goes out of traditional holsters here is that you also have your magazine pouch in the same configuration as the holster, which is, which is very different. And there's some pros and cons to this. I'll tell you the pros. The pros is that you have everything in one, in one uh, package versus you carrying your magazine separately because face it, how many people carry a separate magazine um, on your support side. Very few people do. Um, even myself, I do have holsters separate for magazines, but very seldomly do I actually carry it. So this one, it's two in one. I mean, you, you, you wear it and forget about it. It's there. Now your cons for this is if you train like I do with your firearm, this is going to be a training issue. You're going to have to learn how to draw across your torso to draw your magazine. And the way I've loaded the magazine here, you're probably looking at it and say, why'd you load it that way? Well, this is how I index my magazine when I draw. So you want to make sure that you grab your magazine however you index into the weapon. So if I have, I'm gonna take this out, I have a clear weapon here. So as I index my hand and pull out this magazine, I have my pointer finger here, and that's exactly how I'm going to, I'm not gonna do it because there's a live round today. That's ex exactly how I'm going to load the firearm. So that's how you wanna set up your holster so that as you pull your magazine out, you're also indexing in the same way. You don't have to reconfigure your grip to that. But you know what? I've, I'm very pleased with this holster. This, this holster is the real deal. And the way it works is that you've got a nice little um, strap in the back here. Your belt loop goes through here. This thing is made very, very well. Now, what are the pros and cons of a holster like this versus what I've been carrying in it before, which is a Kydex holster like this? Well, I'll tell you. Number one is this going to be this is going to be a very uh, this is going to be a less less profile than this. This is really, really snug up against your hip and I, I like that. However, what's gonna happen is it is important to be able to draw your weapon, but almost as important or some people debate even more important than drawing your weapon and that's the ability to reholster your weapon because I guarantee you if you ever um, are gonna use your weapon, chances are you're probably not gonna shoot it. You might break leather, but you might need to reholster, whether it's gonna be a hand-on situation or something like that. Let's say it's not a, uh, it's not gonna be a shoot day and you have to reholster your weapon. Well, guess what? It does take a little bit of finessing to get that gun back in there, especially if this is tight up against your hip. Um, you might have to mess with this to get it in there, as opposed to a Kydex holster, where this is just second intuition, this is just intuition, very intuitive, and you're gonna be able to holster your weapon without having to fidget or anything to that effect. Now, this has only been in my, in this gun for about two days now, so I'm gonna guess that it's gonna break in a little better, but I have not tested it yet, 
after it's been uh, fully broken in to tell you guys exactly if it's easy to holster. But I'll tell you what, man, for 20 bucks, you cannot beat this deal. This is great. Um, their website is www.versacarry.com. And there is a phone number right there, 979-778-2000. And if you have any questions, you can also email them at support at versacarry.com. I'm very pleased with this purchase. Uh, so I think I'm going to be carrying this as my EDC. Cool. So I have some updates for you guys. A lot of you guys have been messaging me about this little guy right here. Remember this? The Dessert Warrior. Um, a lot of you guys are messaging me saying, where can I get one? They're sold out. Well, I have an update for you. Um, Blade HQ, they are going to be coming out with more of these. Um, at first, this was going to be a sprint release, but um, you know, as you can see here, this is one of 467. If you do have this knife, knife, please put in the comments what number you have. But if you go on to Blade HQ website, type in dessert, not desert, dessert warrior, and you can put yourself on the either a wish list or on the mailing list so you can get one of these when they come out. And this is this was made to go to battle with a donut. And I don't know if this is true or not, but what they say on their website is that they put in an order for the Desert Warrior, more Desert Warrior knives, and someone spelled it wrong. They spelled it dessert and uh, they mailed them this. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or not. If that's true, that's hilarious. That'd be awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna put that right there. And I wanna thank my um, rep, Rebecca, at Blade HQ for giving me the heads up, letting me know that this was being released. So uh, if it weren't for her, I probably wouldn't have got this. All right, and then the other update I want to do is um, I want to thank you guys for visiting my uh, last video that I had there, Knives Approved by Ben Peterson, where I did a hypothetical kind of what-if video as if Ben Peterson were uh, in the room with me and I was, uh, I was showing him my collection of knives and telling him which knives he would approve of. He actually responded <laughs> and made notes, I made a comment on my video. So go check out that video and see what he said about my video. I also recommended a gun if um, just by his tastes and go check out that video and see what gun I recommended for him. And then see if in the comments he actually agreed with what I said. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap it up now. There's one more thing I wanna cover. Um, in my one of my first videos, I uh, titled, I purchased all of my wish list knives. I had a giveaway that I was gonna do and I cannot find that knife that I was going to give away just because I don't know where I put it. And Aqua Freedom is the person who was selected for a free knife and um, hopefully this will suffice. This is a really cool knife. This is made by a Rough Rider with a nice brass scales here and I'm really digging this. I hope you like this Aqua Freedom. I uh, just emailed you buddy. So email me back with your address and I will be more than happy to send this to you. Please stay tuned and alert. I am going to be doing some more giveaways. I really appreciate you guys. Again, if you have not subscribed and liked, I would really, really appreciate if you guys would do that. Just wanna show you guys one more time. This K-pop by Kayla Cummings, which I think is really, really cool. I'm really happy with my purchase there. And um, let me see what else I have here. I'm just gonna show everything that I've been talking about here. I don't think that Kaiser is gonna even fit in here. Where the heck did I put it? Hello? Where did it go? I don't know where it went. How can something so big just disappear? That's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for visiting. And I hope you guys are staying safe today. And it's really bothering me that I can't find this knife. How can that knife so big disappear? That's so weird. But anyway, make a comment on my video. I really appreciate you guys visiting me. And I hope you guys have a really, really nice summer. And um, stay safe. Keep the shiny side up. This is JT signing off. Have a good day.